Today's lesson is called Actor Joseph Gordon Levitt is a man of many talents. Hello, everyone. My name is Jeff. And I'm Helen. Joseph Gordon Levitt. What an actor he is. On day one, we talked about all of the great films that he has starred in. Well, we didn't talk about all 50 movies that he was a part of, but he did star opposite Leonardo DiCaprio in Inception. He was also in The Dark Knight Rises, 500 Days of Summer, The Walk, Snowden, The Trial of the Chicago 7. The list goes on and on. We also learned as well that even though he is a famous person, even though he is a celebrity, he cares nothing for these things, okay? He only cares about his acting, his art. He doesn't care about being better than other people. He doesn't care about being famous or well-known the world over. He doesn't care about money. He cares about his acting. His acting and some other stuff, too, which we'll be talking about today. Because, yes, actor Joseph Gordon-Levitt is a great actor, but he's also a man of many talents. He does other things besides just acting. That's right. He appears to be a very interesting and very smart person. He has chosen the films that he starred in well. A lot of actors chose flops. You know, they were in some good movies and some bad ones. But we could say that most of the films that Gordon Levitt has been in have been good movies, movies with good stories. And he's also very versatile. He has been in thrillers. He has been in comedies. He has been in sci-fi films. So he is an all-round good actor. And as we will see, Today, he has also many other projects besides acting. There you go. Let's go ahead and start talking about these right now. After a short break, that is. While Gordon Levitt is best known for his film roles, his talents range beyond acting. He also directs, writes, and produces. In his spare time, he hosts a podcast, plays drums and keyboards, and even sings on occasion. 大家好,第一部分我们看到单字,podcast这个字是名词,意思是播客,以iPod和broadcast两个字组成的,是以数位格式储存的节目,可经由网际网络下载并播放。例如, I listen to podcasts to pass the time during my daily commute. 我每天通勤时会听播客打发时间。And welcome back. So let's continue with our introduction of Joseph Gordon-Levitt. And it says here in the first sentence, while Gordon-Levitt is best known for his film roles, his talents range beyond acting. He also directs, writes, and produces. So he's not only an actor in the film industry, he also directs movies, he writes movie scripts, and he produces movies. And in his spare time, he hosts a podcast, plays drums and keyboards, and even sings on occasion. So he's an actor, director, writer, producer, a podcaster, if that's even a word, a drummer, a keyboardist, oh, and a... On occasion, he also sings. That means maybe he doesn't sing all the time, but every once in a while, infrequently, he will sing. That's what it means to do something on occasion. Every once in a while. By the way, we've got the word spare to talk about here. Here, the word spare means extra. If you have some time left over in the day after your job is finished for that day before dinner starts, you can say that that's spare time. Yes, I got home from work at five o'clock. Dinner won't be until seven o'clock. So I've got about two hours to do 
whatever I want. Maybe I'll engage in my favorite hobby or pastime for a couple of hours because I have this extra or spare time. Right. You can also say spare change. So you might be walking down the street, and a person, perhaps a homeless person, will approach you and say, "Do you have any spare change?" Which means, "Do you have any extra change, extra coins that you can give me?" So that's another collocation: spare with change. Meaning coins. That is correct, and also don't forget that he hosts a podcast. Podcasts are all the rage these days. iPod broadcasts. I believe when you put those two words together, you get a podcast. But I think we all know what they are. And Joseph Gordon Levitt hosts one. Hey. Look it up. You might be surprised at just how good it is. All right, folks. With that, it's time for us to take a short break. But don't go away. We'll be right back after this. One of his more interesting pursuits is Hit Record, an online creative community he started some years ago. It's a platform where individuals can introduce a project, such as a book or video, and find other artists to collaborate in producing it. The platform has been such a success that it has grown into a global community of about a hundred thousand writers, filmmakers, musicians, and artists. 第二部分，我们看到一个名词 pursuit， 做可数名词时指嗜好、消遣，像是 playing the piano and singing are two of the musical pursuits that I love. 弹钢琴和唱歌是我所爱的两个音乐嗜好。另外，这个字做不可数名词时，指追求、实行。举例来说 ，Frank is determined in his pursuit of fame. Frank 追求成名的意志坚定。或是 ，The police officer's pursuit of the thief ended with a gun battle. 警察与小偷的追逐最终演变成枪战。再补充一个相关片语 ，in hot pursuit 表示紧追在后，对某人穷追不舍。我们可以说 ，The police were in hot pursuit of the bank robbers. 警方紧追银行抢匪。再来，我们看到单字 collaborate， 意思是合作。例如 ，Richard and Lauren collaborated on an art project. Richard 和 Lauren 合作进行一项艺术专案。或是 ，The two famous rappers are collaborating on a new album. 那两位知名饶舌歌手正在合作一张新专辑。另外，补充这个字的名词 collaboration, c o l l a b o r a t i o n. Collaboration. 举例来说 ，After the failure of their first collaboration, the artists never work together again. 首次合作即告失败后，这些艺术家未曾再共事过。接着，我们看到一个名词 ，filmmaker， 指制片人、电影制作人。像是 The filmmaker chose a popular singer to play the main character in the film. 那名电影制作人选了一名知名歌手来当这部片的主角。So we're talking about Gordon Levitt or Joseph Gordon Levitt, and we know that he is an actor, director, writer, producer, part-time, sometime musician, plays the drums and keyboards, and he also hosts a podcast. But that's not all, because it says here one of his more interesting pursuits is hit record. So this is something that he has created, and it's an online creative community he started some years ago. Wow, this guy wears a lot of different hats. He does so many things. Where does he find the time? Anyways, the pursuit here is something that you do. Now, it's something that you do for a purpose. You're trying to achieve something. You're trying to follow something in the sense of reaching a goal. But one of his more interesting pursuits is hit record. And what is that? It's an online creative community he started some years ago. So there you go. It's online. It's a creative community. Maybe you can even become a part of this online creative community. Look it up now. More on Hit Record. It's a platform where individuals can introduce a project, such as a book or video. 
and find other artists to collaborate in producing it. So there you go, look it up, you can join, and soon you'll be collaborating with others on your art projects. Right, so collaborate here means to work with others, to make something or to produce something. Sometimes a project involves many different facets. So you might need somebody for music or for art or for engineering. You can't do it all yourself, especially when you're trying to put together a short film, a video, or maybe an album, and you need talents from different sectors to help you put this project together. And that's what Head Record is for. It's a place where people can go to look for other people to collaborate on a project so that this pursuit becomes a reality. Hit Record has been a really big success. It says the platform has been such a success that it has grown into a global community of about 100,000 writers, filmmakers, musicians, and artists. So yeah, the platform, it collapsed. It has no presence on the internet anymore. Are you kidding? It's now a global community. It's a worldwide community of thousands, hundreds of thousands of writers, filmmakers, musicians, and artists. By the way, a filmmaker is a person who makes films. Did you know that, Helen? Filmmaker? I had no idea. I thought a filmmaker was maybe a chef. That's someone who makes souffles or something. Yeah, a filmmaker makes souffles or creme brulee or something. No way. A filmmaker is someone who makes movies. They make films. That's all there is to it. Yep, and that just shows what a nice person Joseph Gordon-Levitt is, that he is not concerned about celebrity because somebody who is concerned about celebrity it would be very focused on their own fame and their own status. But here, Gordon-Levitt has created an online platform to help other artists get their projects out there. He's interested in community. He's interested in getting people to experience express their creativity and that just shows that when he said celebrity had nothing to do with art that he really meant it. Yeah, he really does care about art and artists and connecting artists so that they can collaborate the world over. All right, folks, with that it is time for us to take another break. But don't go away. When we come back, we'll be wrapping up our article on Joseph Gordon Levitt. Hit Record really took off during the COVID-19 pandemic when artists on lockdown turned to the platform to find work and express their creativity. One piece that came out during this period was the short film Lost in Taiwan. The filmmaker started with the prompt, When I think of Taiwan, I think of, and put together the responses to create the video. Within hours of its release, Lost in Taiwan got nearly 6,000 shares. In his pursuits, Gordon Levitt has consistently focused on creativity instead of fame and celebrity. So far, the results have been wonderful. 最后,第三部分,我们看到名词,prompt,指提词,提白,指示词。我们可以说, You must follow the prompt if you want to get a good score on the examination. 如果你想考试拿高分,就必须遵循指示词作答。另外,这个字也可以当动词,指引起,促使。举例来说, David's back pain prompted him to see a doctor. And so, as we were saying before, Hit Record didn't close down recently. It was having a lot of success, and it still has a lot of success, especially in recent times during the COVID-19 pandemic, because it says here, Hit Record really took off during the COVID-19 pandemic when artists on lockdown turned to the platform to find work and express their creativity. So during the COVID-19 pandemic, a lot of people around 
the world, locked themselves at home. They couldn't go out. They couldn't go to the office, go to the studio to do their projects. So they had to stay home and they turned to the internet to find people that they can collaborate with on what they were doing. And that's when hit record really took off. So to take off means to become successful. It was already successful before, but during the COVID-19 pandemic, it became really successful. It took off. So you could say something like Zoom really took off during recent months. Zoom is the conference or meeting application that people use to have meetings or job interviews or even between family members so that they can stay in touch with each other. Zoom was just another app before, but with COVID-19 and people not being able to see each other face to face, Zoom really took off. These artists, they were on lockdown. They couldn't go to their studios. They were working from home, let's say. But hey, they could find work and express their creativity through hit record. Well done. By the way, sometimes when you're in a bad situation, you have to turn to someone for help or turn to something for help. It might seem like the final option that you have, but one way or another, you reach out or you turn to something. So there was a crisis. These artists didn't know what to do, but they could turn to this particular platform, I should say, and they could find their work or find work and express their creativity because after all, that's what artists do. Right. So just to go back for a second to the phrase turn to, I could also say when you're feeling sad, it's important to have friends that you can turn to to talk about your problems, to let off some steam. So here we're talking about creativity, to have a platform to turn to to express your creativity. And the word creativity means the ability to create something using your imagination. So I could say, for instance, the chef uses his experience and creativity to cook wonderful dishes. Anyways, moving on, one piece that came out during this period was the short film Lost in Taiwan. So here's the Taiwan connection. The filmmakers started with the prompt, when I think of Taiwan, I think of, and put together the responses to create the video. How cool. It all started with a prompt. Right. And a prompt is a word or a phrase, a group of words that suggests to someone what they should say next. So when I think of the word prompt, what it means, I think of an exam. When I was in high school, when we had to do written composition exams, the teacher would give us a prompt. Like it would be a statement about something and we had to elaborate on it or we had to agree with it or disagree with it and explain why. So that would be the prompt for a test, an exam. You can also have a prompt in acting. If you're an actor on stage and then you forget your lines, then you can have somebody off stage to give you a prompt, which is words that will remind you what your lines are, what comes next. Anyways, within hours of its release... Lost in Taiwan got nearly 6,000 shares. And that's just in a few hours. How cool, how awesome. Yay, Taiwan. Taiwan number one. Now, in his pursuits, Gordon Levitt has consistently focused on creativity instead of fame and celebrity. If you have not taken this point away from the lesson, well, I think you might want to reread it because, yes, Joseph Gordon Levitt, he's not interested in fame and being a celebrity. He's all about the creativity. Anyways, we also have the adverb consistently to talk about here. If you do something consistently, you always follow through on something over and over again. You do that thing. You continue to do that thing. You don't quit on doing that thing. You can be counted upon. Right. Now, I could say a success a successful restaurant is one that consistently serves good food. So you can't be good on one day and mediocre or bad the next. You have to be consistent. You have to consistently serve good food and be courteous to your customers. There you go. Anyways, let's wrap up our article. The final sentence says, so far, the results have been wonderful for Joseph Gordon Levitt. All right, folks, with that, our lesson is now in the books. 
And it's time for you guys to hear from the Chinese teacher. Joseph Gordon Levitt 在几年前有成立一个创意平台，那是一个可以让个人发起计划专案，然后找其他艺术家来合力制作的平台。好，课文用到一个补充单字是 collaborate， 它是表达合作。我们来学它的字首字根。好，先来看字根。L A B O R labor 这个部分呢，它有工作、劳动、劳工、劳力的意思。那么带有这个字根的字呢，多半就含有劳动、劳力的语义。好，在 collaborate 这个字当中，它的字首 C O L 是来自 C O M， 只是因为碰到 L 开头的字根才拼成 C O L。那这个字首它表示一起，那么 labor 表示工作 ，A T E 是动词字尾，合在一起。Collaborate, 一起工作，那就是合作的意思喽。我们顺便补充两个有相同字根的单字。第一个是 elaborate, e l a b o r a t e。好，它的字首 e 是来自 e x， 表示彻底、完全，它是做强调用。那么字根 labor， 它表示劳动。那么 a t e 可以是动词字尾或是形容词字尾。当我们做事情做得很彻底、很完全，应该就可以联想到。Elaborate， 它有精心制作的意思。它当动词表示精心制作或是详细说明。那么当形容词的时候是念作 elaborate， 它是用来形容精心制作的、精雕细琢的或是详尽的。好，第二个补充的是。Laborious 就是在 labor 后面加上 i o u s。好，它的字根 labor 表示劳动，然后后面的 o u s 是形容词字尾。同学们可以试着联想，某件事它是需要劳动的，那就表示它是费力的，是吃力的。那么 laborious 就是用来形容它是费尽的、吃力的。好，再来读到课文第三部分，他有提到说 ，Joseph Gordon Levitt 那个平台呢，在 COVID-19 pandemic 期间受到欢迎。然后接着他用逗号接一个句子，叫 When artists on lockdown turned to the platform to find work and express their creativity。好，这边他用到 lockdown 是指封锁，像是建筑或是地区因为紧急情况而被封锁。那在这边他是指说因为新冠肺炎而封锁的情况。另外呢，他是用到 when 去引导关系子句的非限定用法、哦。我们来学这个用法 ，when 当关系副词就相当于介系词加上 which 去表达在那时候。那它是用来引导。关系子句去修饰表示时间的先行词。如果这个先行词是明确的时间点，像冬天啊，或是一九九七年，这个时间很明确，我们不用限定范围。还有像课文里面的先行词，它是用到这个新冠肺炎疫情期间，都很明确，然后不用限定范围，所以我们就是用非限定用法。也就是说 ，when 引导的关系子句呢，是用来补充说明先行词。我们要用逗号把这个补充说明的关系子句去隔开。举例来说 ，My favorite season is summer when the sun shines almost every day。句子里面的先行词 summer 它是明确特定的时间，那么这时候 when 就相当于 in which。也就是说，在夏天这个季节里，在那个时候里，好，那么关系子句 when the sun shines almost every day 是用来补充说明夏天几乎每天都阳光普照。那我们这时候就要记得用逗号把补充说明的这个关系子句隔开来。那这时候就是非限定用法喽。好，以上是今天的重点整理，我们回顾今天的单词吧。Spare. In her spare time, Sally likes to paint and draw. Pursuit. My holiday pursuits included reading, hiking, and learning how to sail a boat. Creativity. The writer's creativity is what makes her book so interesting. Prompt. The students will be given a writing prompt, which they will use to write their essay. Consistently. That soccer player consistently scores the most goals for his team. Discussion starter starts now. Okay, everyone. Now it's time for our discussion starter. Helen, what do you think is Gordon Levitt's greatest achievement so far? 
I think his greatest achievement so far is still his acting, which is his main job, which is what he's most known for, and he's very good at it. Well, I think his greatest achievement so far is launching Hit Record. I think this is great because it really helped artists in a time of need. When there was a lockdown there, the platform was there for those artists. They could all collaborate and meet remotely and still create art, which is what artists do after all. Well, this is the end of our program. We hope you had a great time with us today. Hope you can join us again. From all of us here, I'm Helen. I'm Jeff. See, See you next time. time.